Do you guys remember this headband that I posted on my community tab a while back? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all exactly how I made that particular headband. I got a request recently from someone to make this headband and she wanted her own to be blinged up and just very colorful and stoned and all of that. So in today's video, I decided to show you guys exactly how I went about creating this headband for that particular person. So in case you'd be interested in knowing how to recreate something like this for yourself, make sure you watch this video to the end i made this video very detailed very interesting and just very educative for you all also if you're watching this video currently and you're yet to be subscribed to this channel you know you like what you're seeing already so please be sure to hit the subscribe button share this video with your friends and like the video if you enjoyed watching at the end of the day all right guys let's get right into this tutorial okay so as usual i'll start off by showing you everything you need in order to make this headband so please be sure to watch everything i'm showing you if this is your first time of stopping by my channel welcome 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 my name is fumibi i make videos about diy styling i do a bit of natural hair tutorials and i do a bit of vlogging as well i do a bunch of different things on this channel so if you're yet to hit the subscribe button please be sure to hit the subscribe button and join us on this channel all right guys so what i have here is my ashe okay so i'm using a single piece so the yoruba people call the single pieces away so i'm using one single away of ashoki for this particular tutorial so what i'm doing here is i'm going to join two pieces now so i divided one single piece which is the away i spoke about i divided it into two and what i'm doing now is i'm joining it together and watch the way i placed the two pieces i didn't make their edges matching i reduced it a little by like quarter of an inch so that's how you want to do it next up you're now going to kind of cover up the parts that you you pushed downwards just watch what i'm doing basically i don't know if the way i'm explaining it makes sense to you but if you just watch what i'm doing i'm sure you will find the whole process very very easy to achieve so all i'm going to do now is i'm just going to cover up the same line that i created earlier on and that is going to give me my one single piece of ashe okay and this single piece turned out to be about 72 inches in total 72 inches and some not it, it wasn't up to 73 inches anyway so what i'm doing now is i'm just showing you guys so this is 36 inches on fold by the time you open it up you have about 72 inches so what i'm doing now is i'm marking 17 inches in four places so i divided 72 inches by four and then i got 17 point something inches so i decided to just mark 17 inches in four places on my ashe okay i'm marking it at the top and at the bottom and then i'm going to go ahead to join the two lines together to give me the results that i'm going for in today's tutorial Tutorial, I'm kind of going to show you guys how to create gathers on your ashe okay with my other tutorials I kind of freestyled but this time I want it to be something very detailed such that you can easily create gathers on whatever design you come up with for your ashe okay without any stress and for today's gathers what I'm going to be using is my needle and thread for people that are new to sewing in general so if you used to sew you know that you can easily create gathers using needle and thread but my for my newbies on here that don't necessarily know how to go about creating gathers just watch as I go so you want to make large stitches right so using your needle and thread and then you now pull on the needle and thread to give you your gathers this right here is a simple hack to creating gathers on fabrics any type of fabric really as long as you want to create gathers this system totally would come through for you so that's exactly what i'm doing here and i'm going to create gathers on all the bits that i kind of marked out at the beginning so this is another line so i'm going to create gathers on that particular line again and then fold this into two so my 17 inches portion i'm just going to fold this into two and then join this to the previous gathers just kind of watch me as i go this part i'm not going to be doing too much explanation because i feel like when you watch me as i go you kind of get the, the detail of everything i'm trying to teach you so this is another call to action if you've made it up to this point in this video and you're yet to be subscribed to this channel please be sure to smash the subscribe button join us i do a lot of tutorials like this and i come up with you know different stunning styles for headband gillies on here on my channel so if that sounds like something you'll be really interested in learning a lot about please be sure to smash the subscribe button also feel free to share this video with your friends and family people that you know will enjoy this kind of content please be sure to share this tutorial with them also if at the end of the video you liked watching or even right now if you are enjoying what you're watching right please be sure to hit the like button so what i'm doing now is i kind of sped up this part of the video because i just didn't want it to be you know boring and repetitive for you guys so i'm just creating my gathers and then folding it over and joining it to the previous gather and that's exactly what i'm going to do for the four portions 
of 17 inches that I marked earlier on. All right, guys. So another thing I'm going to point out for you guys at this point in this tutorial is you want to make sure you have a very big needle. Well, not extremely big, right? But you want a relatively big needle to achieve this particular look because you know as your case kind of thick and you want your needle to be able to easily go through and then create your gathers and just be able to stitch your pieces together for you so make sure that your needle is strong and your threading as well is strong to give you beautiful results so what i'm doing here is i'm just securing the portion that i gather together and sewed together to avoid me you know basically losing my gathers or losing my stitches at any point in time so next up i'm going to go ahead to tackle the remaining portion repeating the exact same process creating gathers on the lines that i marked and then joining it to the previous portions that i sewed together so at the end of the day i'm going to have four pieces of this you know scrunched up and gathered pieces and we will now get to you know move to the next stage in this particular tutorial all right guys so i'm on the last portion now and i already sewed everything together basically so once i'm done with this particular bit next up i'm going to now go ahead to create those my pinched effect kind of situation on my headband so if you watched my previous video on how to make an extravagant ashoki headband gilly you already know the pinched effect that i'm talking about for those who have not necessarily seen that video i'm going to link it somewhere on the screen so you can feel free to go check it out that particular design is another stunning design that you can totally try on for yourself or for your clients if you're the kind of person who makes things like this for people all right guys so i'm going straight to the pinched effect portion of this video and for that part i'm not going to waste too much time Time on showing you guys how to go about it i'm going to show you a few clips here and there on how i go about you know creating a pinched effect on my ashoki so i just take little bits like i just did now pinch it together and then use my needle and thread to just secure my pinches here and there on my ashoki and i'm going to do that all over this gilly feel free to you know do as much or as little or should i say as many or as little as you like on your ashoki gilly this whole thing just depends on you and what your taste is like basically for your headband gilly once that is done i'm going to move on ahead to basically just look around see if what i did is nice or not or if i want to create more or if i want to just leave things as they are and all of that and that's exactly what i'm doing here i decided to zoom in for those who you know have made complaints that i don't really show them what i'm doing clearly so i hope you guys can see what i'm doing here i'm just you know using my needle and thread to just create simple stitches to secure my pinched effect all over my headband gilly so i'm going to go ahead now to speed up this whole process so it doesn't get boring and repetitive for you all i believe everyone has basically gotten the gist of this whole part all right guys so once that is done i'm now going to go ahead to basically just look around and see if i like what i've done and that's exactly what i'm doing and i think i'm fine with the amount of you know pinched effects that i've created on this particular piece next up i'm going to go ahead to wrap up my headband and for this portion because this particular ashoki that i'm using is not very thick it's thick but it's not thick enough for me so i'm going to go ahead to double up the piece that i'm going to be using to wrap my headband just so the plastic headband doesn't start picking through the ashe okay if you're the kind of person that does not mind that particular look feel free to just use one single piece to wrap up your head bubble because i just don't like my plastic headband picking through my ash okay i'm just going to double it up secure it together on my sewing machine like i just did here just sew it down together before i now go ahead to wrap up my headband and for wrapping up the headband i'm not going to dwell too much on it because i have a lot of tutorials on how to wrap a headband with any type of fabric ashoke or satin or whatever fabric that you choose to use if you're the kind of person that is new here again and you've not seen a lot of my tutorials i'm going to link a very useful tutorial on how to wrap a headband a more detailed outlook into this whole process i'm going to link it on the screen for you so feel free to go check it out if that is something you want to learn about so what i'm doing here is just basically speeding through wrapping up the headband and once that is done i'm going to move on ahead to basically place the main headgear on this headband and because you know we want things to be secure and all of that i'm going to use my glue to first of all secure the headband piece on this 
you know, wrapped up headband. Before we then go ahead to stitch the main headband, I mean the main headgear now to the headband. So what I'm doing here is just using my glue gun to first of all secure the main headgear on the headband. And for this portion, the reason why I'm not really showing is because it depends on you and where you want to place your main headgear. If you want to place it towards the side, if you want to place it at the middle, depending on you and the style they are going for. But for me, I tilted, you know, the placement of my headgear towards the side a little i keep saying my head here but it's not mine actually it's for someone so what i'm doing here is i'm trying to sew up all the pieces into one single piece so you know we have four gathers that we sewed together so i want to basically join them together to give us one single piece so anybody that does not know what happened in this whole tutorial we think it's a single piece that we just worked on but they won't know that you know we have gathers and joining and all of that going on here so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm using my pin to just secure the headband the way you know i feel like it will look nice and then i'll now go ahead to use my needle and thread to just sew up all the pieces that i pinned together and this is me here just you know doing my thing ignore my serious face this is me in my zone this is another call to action if you've made it up to this point in the video and you're still yet to hit the subscribe button i don't know why you haven't hit the subscribe button but anyway please just go ahead to smash the subscribe button and join us also like this video if you've still made it up to this point and you've not liked the video yet liking the video is very important so please be sure to like the video so what i'm doing here is basically just sewing down my headband onto my headgear so the main headgear i'm sewing it down to the headband right so just avoid you know wardrobe disasters for yourself or your client depending on who you are making your headgear for so that's exactly what i'm doing here and i decided to move my camera around just for you guys to see how i normally go about you know sewing down my main headgears to the headband that i normally use for my headgear tutorial so that's just doing basic stitches and this is the final outlook of this headband the owner of this headband later called me after i showed her you know the picture of this headgear she was like it looked too basic and i totally agreed with her so she wanted me to you know basically bling up the ashoki so i went ahead to quickly place an order on instagram and got someone to deliver really nice stones that would come out really really nice on this ashoki so i went ahead to basically just glue on those stones and these are the stones that i'm talking about these stones right here they call them claw stones and this one i got i don't even remember how much i got it but it wasn't really you know it wasn't excessively expensive so yeah this is me just gluing it on if you're the kind of person that is extra that likes beading feel free to sew these stones onto your headgear so this is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up also subscribe if you're yet to subscribe share this video with your friends i'm sure you enjoyed watching so please be sure to share with your friends i can't wait to see you guys again next week on wednesday and on sunday i'm going to leave some videos on the screen so please be sure to go ahead to watch a thing or two while we await my next uploads all right guys have a beautiful week bye